Hi, Temecula, welcome back. I uh, just wanted to provide a few updates since last week. If you haven't been following closely, Riverside County is aggressively pursuing what they call a self-attestation plan with the governor's office that would allow them, if approved, to move quicker through the phases. So currently we find ourselves in what we'd call phase two, and Riverside County is working diligently um, to meet the metrics that are set forth by the state of California in an effort to get approval to move to stages 2.5 and further closer to three. So the city of Temecula, we're involved in that. We're meeting regularly. We're in communication. We've been advocating and lobbying for uh, a safe and responsible and expedited opening uh, for, for our economy here in Temecula. And hopefully, uh, I know the request has been made We'll be hearing back later in the week, and hopefully we'll get some feedback on whether that uh, request to move to phase 2.5 uh, will be granted. The other thing that's important to mention is that testing for everyone is becoming more and more important. Uh, these are numbers that the governor's office wants to see for Riverside County. So you do not need to be ill or sick if you want to get tested. Uh, if you're asymptomatic, um, we encourage everyone to consider going and getting tested. Uh, you may see our emails and our videos and, and all the cities and the chambers of commerce and everyone that's anxious to open is on board with pushing this out there. So lots of testing sites available. There'll be more opening in Temecula in the weeks to come. But if you're interested in knowing where those are, you can go to the city's website and get more information. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention was this morning, we had our budget workshop with the Temecula City Council. We went over uh, all the uh, incredible devastation that occurred uh, that we project financially to our, our bottom line. Um, but I'm pleased to report that we uh, were able to balance our operating budget, not just for next year, but for the next five years. And we did so by making responsible uh, cuts uh, within our operating budget, as well as deferring capital projects where appropriate. And we're also going to be re revisiting our budgets in another four or five months when the revenues become uh, known, uh, the, re the real actual receipts become known. So uh, on a good note, we were able to balance our budget. Uh, there will be no uh, major significant staffing cuts to police and fire services. That remains our top priority. And uh, we will be presenting this budget uh, to the City Council on June 9th for official adoption, and that will become effective July 1. So a lot of good work uh, by the City of Temecula finance staff and staffers here in putting together what was arguably one of the most difficult uh, operating budgets in this environment of unknowns and having to make many, many assumptions about our uh, fiscal future. So uh, until next week, uh, Temecula, Encourage you to be safe, be well. Again, looks like that there's a, a light shining at the end of the tunnel with uh, relaxed orders coming each and every week. And that's encouraging for us all. So take care.